So in today's video, we're gonna talk about something that seems pretty simple. We're gonna talk about cutting drywall. Part of my history is that I was a contractor, but I was also a fireman paramedic, and I saw so many injuries with people using a knife and cutting drywall improperly, and I wanna go over that and see if we can save some injuries and make it a little safer. So the first part of cutting drywall is that you've gotta make yourself prepared and, and have your setup correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a measurement, and I'm gonna make marks, and as you'll see here, I've made four marks on this four foot of drywall. And the reason for that is if I put a mark down here and one up here, my straight edge is not gonna reach those marks. So I wanna make sure that there's plenty of marks so that my straight edge hits them all. So now to get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get down here close and I'm gonna lay my straight edge right up against my first mark, set my blade on it and run my straight edge right up against it. Now I know I'm in perfect alignment for that spot. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna move over and get my straight edge in alignment with the other marks that I've made. When I start, and what's important about cutting drywall, and people make this mistake all the time, is that they put their hand in front of the knife. And if you think about this, it, as I'm cutting, if it skips off, it's gonna come right across my hand. And I cannot tell you how many times I've been to job sites for guys who had very nasty lacerations across their hand. Seems very simple, but I can't tell you how many times it's happened and it seems to happen all the time. So that's why I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about it today. So once again, I'm gonna put <clears throat> Knife on that mark, move this over, check my mark here, and I'm gonna put my hand up here high, and then my first cut is not a cut, it's a score. I'm barely going through the paper. And the reason for that is that I'm not putting enough pressure here so that if this skips out, it's gonna hit anything. All I'm doing is scoring the paper, right? And I'm gonna to try to do this without anything in front of it. No fingers, no thumbs, nothing. Keep your hand behind the blade. Always pull away from your hand. As I come down and I score the paper, I'm creating a line. That I can now come back and drop my blade into and go just a little bit deeper, not a lot, but notice how it follows the track of that line that I just cut, that little score in the paper. And I stayed pretty much right on it. A little skip right there, but for the most part, stayed right on it. Now I go a little bit deeper. Come on down here and do the same thing again and proceed all the way down. Notice here I skipped out of my score just a little bit. That's okay, just go back, get right back in the groove, doesn't hurt the drywall. Start again and make sure you're right back in that score mark. So, now I've made a, a, a score in the, the paper and the drywall, the gypsum, that's maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more. And all I need to do is come down here with the palm of my hand. I put one hand here on this side of my cut. Let me turn this around so you can see a little bit better. Put one hand here on this side of my cut and on this side. Now, I'm gonna grab my knife, but when I start to cut, I'm gonna hold it right here on top of that, that fold. So I'm gonna be on the back side though. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down a little bit. Notice how my blade is coming through the paper. I put my hand here and I'm gonna cut all the way down as far as I can reach. Now I'm gonna bend down and come from the bottom up, but I'm still far away from my hand. The reason I have my hand right here is that I'm controlling both pieces of the drywall. I have a perfectly straight cut, yeah, almost perfectly straight, and I'm ready to go with my next project. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you would like to check out our products, click on the link below in the description for easy protection. And to check out our other videos, please click on the link up here.